The bell work for April 7th. On Monday, two and one-fifth times the acceptable number hid under the front porch. If 880 was the acceptable number, how many hid under the front porch? Well, let's see. Uh, two and one-fifth. I'm going to say two times five plus one. So that's the same thing as 11 over the same denominator, five. All right, so really 11 over five instead of two and one-fifth. Um, so two and, two and one-fifth or 11 over five times the acceptable number. Well, okay, so 11 over five times 880, and it's just over one. Uh, how many hit under the front porch? <laughs> More than what was acceptable, apparently. It was not acceptable. So, um, well, let's see. I'm kind of curious if... I know 5 goes into 880, so I'm going to cancel. But I don't know how many 5s are in 880. So I say 880 divided by 5. And it's 176. So I'm going to cancel this out. 176. 1, 5, and 5. 176 5s in 880. Okay, so that leaves only one on the bottom, which means I don't care about the bottom anymore. And now it's just 176 times 11. Straight across I multiply, and uh, I get 1,936. So way more than was supposed to hide under the front porch. It's either a big front porch or it's uh, insects or something. Can't be dogs, right? Anyway, what number is 225 percent of 140? Well, I know how to write a percent. It's 225 over 100. Anything over 100 is a percent, right? And that's going to equal some other fraction. And they're telling me of 140, so I know that 140 is the bottom number. And then there's this number that's 225 percent, so quite a bit more than 140, right? That's what it's going to be, quite a bit more. So let's see, uh, we'll say uh, 225 times 140 is equal to uh, 100 times x, right? And then uh, I don't want the 100 with the x, it's 100 times x, so I'm going to divide by 100. And um, hmm, at this point I'm kind of curious, what's 225 times 140? And the answer is uh, 31,500. That's over 100. And that's equal to x. Now that the 100 canceled on the right side. And uh, zeros cancel, right? And zeros cancel. So uh, it turns out that x is equal to, the only thing left is the 315 without the zeros. So 315. And I kind of I kind of look over here and I say, does that make sense to be on top of 140? Well, it's more than 140, just like 225 is more than 100. It's more than twice. Two times 140 would be 280, so that's more than twice, a little bit more. So that seems good. Marissa loves the caramel macchiato at the car coffee shop. Macchiato? I don't know. Is that, I don't know if that's how you say it. She loves it anyway. The 16 ounce, mm -hmm, 16 ounce, the 16 ounce medium size has 240 calories. Maybe I should write it the other way. Uh, 240 calories for every 16 ounces, huh? How many calories will she get if she drinks the large? 20 ounce, and they don't water it down. Uh, well, there'll be some calories, and it's going to be more, right? Because 20 is more than 16, so I, I don't know how many calories, but it's going to be more. So let's see. I'm going to say same thing. Uh, 20 times 240 is equal to 16 times x. And uh, 20 times 240 is... 48, 24 times 2 is 48, plus two zeros, one from the 20, one from the 240, equals 16 times x. I'm going to divide both sides by 16. 16 into 48 is 3, with two zeros. 
So my answer is 300 calories. Does that make sense? It was supposed to go up. Did it go up? Yes, it went up from 240 to 300 because I went up from 16 ounces to 20 ounces. Yeah. Okay, that's it. 300 calories. Oh, she can walk it off.